Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss what trackball control in CSO.NET Windows Form. So right here I need to, to control first is the label. So directly searching here, label. And here after uh, second control, trackball. So trackball. And here after I am going to increase the size of trackball. So this is the uh, name of trackball here. Maximum uh, than 13 and here the value of minimum 0. A small changes by 1. And uh, table index 0 and value that is 0. So this is all those things about the trackball. And uh, here after this is the size of trackball and location that is it. Now here after I am going to click on uh, form load event. So form, so I have here, here form load event, it is open. Now here after I am going to give the uh, name of the uh, label. So add here, the name of label is one more thing. So about the label control, the name of label, label control is label 1 and the trackball control trackball 1. And here after, if you write add here trackball, so this is the word trackball and uh, this is the word to track, represent a standard windows tracker bar. So tracker bar means so you can start the track from 0 from here. So initial point and here you can go and that you, you can increase by moving right and by moving left so it is a decrease. So this is the things. So at your first here I am going to set the text of label 1 by using or text and here giving 0. And here to trackball. So setting the value of trackball. So here that is start from minimum value that is start from 0 and trackball the maximum value is start from max start from sorry uh, till go to the 200 and here up to our uh, trackball or tick frequency. So tick frequency TSCK or uh, should be 5. So you can change all those things according to according to the project requirement. Now here of two let's uh, or double click on trackball. So it's called event of trackball, it's open. Now here or uh, label dot to text. So when the scroll event to that to fire, so add here or uh, trackball dot value. So whatever or uh, the value that's a text of label. So value dot. So by default it's all or numeric. So I'm going to convert into a string by using to a string method. So now here are all. So let's execute and see. So add here the level or uh, the value is 0 and here is the trackball. So trackball here that is or state the value. Minimum value is now here 0. So maximum that go to 200. So see at here it is increasing uh, for 20 or 31, 44, 64 and here this is the thing. So maximum that go to 200. So if you are going to give at here 10. So in minimum value that to also be 10 and here if you want then here you can increase the size so you can get 4 and uh, here let's execute so since uh, at here the text is I have stated 0 so that here it's a display 0 so at here now see at here that start from 10 so that maximum go to the 400 so this is the trackbar to increase and decrease the value of uh, any controls so this time using the uh, label and you can also use the picture box also so let's see one example one more example of trackball so actually i'm going to create one new project so new project created at here so this time i'm going to use the picture box so my intention is if i'm going to take any picture so let's go to c track Uh, this is the state run here image so if i select one image or uh, here butterfly upon with paint 
So this the idea of this is one track box. So if I move uh, into minus, so this so should be the image is so decreasing. The size is decreasing. If I move to the right, then size increase. So these things I'm going to do by using this or dot net windows form. So add here first we need to take one track box. So directly search add here track box. And uh, here I'm going to increase the size, and you have to going to take picture box. So picture box, drag there, and here I'm going to increase the size of picture box. And uh, next is going to take the one picture. So I'm going to directly take the picture without uh, giving a code. So if I drag the code, then this will take more times. So here, directly search here import. Actually, I think go take any picture, so I'm going to take uh, water. So here, water is so uh, not looking good. So I'm going to take another terms import picture. So let's uh, take city. City, it's okay. Here we go. Okay. So this is the image of the uh, city. So if you want, then here you can increase the size of the uh, uh, city. And uh, here after. Uh, let's uh, double click on form load. So this is uh, a form load event uh, uh, Okay, so at, uh, here we, you can you have to also set the size uh, of minimum size and maximum value of track bar. So minimum going to give at your uh, uh, 0 and uh, track bar so maximum next is max Maximum equal to so at I'm going to give 400 now here after picture box dot so there is the one left property so what the left property again okay, and set the distance in pixel left as well control and left edges and here after one more thing client size so client size so what the size of client area of the form about this one so here i'm going to do width and here the picture box width subtracting client size width with picture box width and here whatever the value comes dividing by 2 now picture box uh, this time or uh, left over so this time going to use the uh, top or uh, top and here client size height or uh, minus picture box dot height and going to divide by 2 so this is the code inside to uh, here um, form load now here after let's go to the form and you have to double click on track bar so here see a track bar a scroll event it's uh, open so it's scrolling means uh, uh, if I'm moving the uh, track bar control so add here or uh, event the file so let's go and do the coding inside. So at here first I'm going to set the picture box size inside to oven or, or track bar or fire. So here given the size, first I'm going to set the size equal to or new size and here after or track bar one dot giving out here the value value. So here after our uh, picture box size dot height. So see and here this is for one for width and next for height. And here after uh, again uh, let's copy this to code to save the times. So same thing I'm not going to write again. So here paste. So let's uh, execute to the code. So see at here or uh, track bar. So first I'm going to change the location of track bar because it's not to in the right place. So I'm going to make here. Now execute one more time. So see at here. So initially the value of a picture so go to the code. So minimum value is of the picture is the 
or here minimum value is so drag more or zero and maximum for it. So if I click at here, see the value is so zero or drag more. And here after if I'm going to move into the right, so see at here the size of picture is increasing. Increasing. So maximum that go to the four hundred. So this is the thing. So here zoom in and if I move left, zoom out. So one more thing, go to the curve here. Going to oh, make zoom. And next to if you want here you can or oh, give minimum value. So minimum value that uh, start from uh, 400 maximum going to give 700. Now let's execute. So add here. So see add here. This is the size. So maximum size 100 pixel. So minimum value 100 pixel. Now if I move to the right to see add here. The maximum go to 400. But to one more thing. The size of a picture at here, I set it. Uh, if you want to see the size here, so only 431. So maximum that go to 431. So if you going to increase at your size, so that go more. So at here, I'm going to give uh, increase the size. So now see at here, this is now 516. Now let's execute. Now increase the track bar. They start from 0 100 and here that go to the uh, 516. So maximum see at here after when this reach uh, this point here after that not increase because the size 516 only. So that maximum here this is the peak point 700. So this is what track bar. You can increase uh, any controls value or decrease any control value. So you can uh, use level control, picture box control. So for picture box control, you can in zoom in, zoom out picture. So by writing this piece of code. So this is the thing about track bar. And uh, oh, here, I'll oh, set the track bar. First, I'm going to stop our track bar. So this all properties inside track bar. If you here the background, if you want, then here from here you can change it. And uh, here you can give any one according to requirement. See the background changed. And those and this this all properties tab it does tab or stop etc. So you should try to check one by one. And here after this is the event. So it's call event I just discussed. And this is the mouse move, so mouse in event. So this event I already discussed in others control. So that's it about trackpad control in CSR.net Windows Phone. So I hope that this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.